Grand Rising Kings, Queens, Gods, Goddesses, Most High Exclusive Dimensional Being Kyle with another exclusive. Today's video is going to be about Nazar again. Feel me? What is Nazar? A electronic computerized system that's only based on satellite division, which they can actually inherit. It. So with that being said, for instance, anybody can create a technology, right? Once you put your mind, your attention, your focus, your mental into something, it can create more energy and it can absorb and create more manifestations in a way because of imagination, creativity, and stability. Once you get a lot of that, it can actually develop, erupt, go up, combine, combine, grow, masterize, and basically be pushed out into function. Because remember, the frequency is the thought, the thought of something. Basically, your mind coming to and bringing the forward, bringing the board. Now, when you got another mind bringing the board, you got everybody coming together, actually basically creating a substance, situation, circumstance they can create. The feelings and emotions of actually feeling to actually make something come true is actually needing more energy. And the energy is pushing it out, explaining it, talking about it, describing it, having the imagination, dreaming about it, a lust about it, being cheerful about it. Now, that's the technology of the NASA because NASA is not in space. Don't get it fucked up. No person, no physical structure, never ever been up there above that firmament. Maybe previously in times where like before computers or things like this that you see, but basically this technology been out forever because it was the thought. It was a process. It was a spiritual thing. Everything you see with your two eyes is basically what came from above. As above, so below. As within, as without. So something actually had to take place up above in the heavens to be brought down here in density. And then basically, you basically got to do a 360 to get information. You got to turn this way. You got to go that way. You got to abstract this way. You'll be picking up different frequency vibrations and energies and enhancing it, enhancing it. So you, this way you can have a structure and a mindset of what you have. I am, I have, I think, I care, I feel, I create, I relate, I detach, I desire, I pleasure, I know, I have wisdom, knowledge. Basically, that's how it plays out. I travel. I combine. I witness. Basically, that's how it's played out in all abstracts. Now, you got to play all of those 12 energies out, which is actually nine. But when you add more, is density, people, places, and things. Structure, third dimension. Feel me? The first dimension is the thought. The second dimension is the person being born through and the third dimension is you being pushed out as yourself. <clears throat> That's basically what it is. And you do the same thing as a thought being pushed out. You relate it to somebody, which is duality. And you create another person that's being pushed out. Now, basically, what they're saying, what Naz is saying is, you're supposed to be a asteroid, which is a rock, which is a small portion, which is a spirit, a soul, a vessel, which is energy, which is absorb, absorb things. Is basically being pushed. It's gonna hit Earth and hit, kill and destroy millions of people, billions of trillions of people. How do NASA know that shit? Always question things. And remember, this being is being pushed out on the internet, which is the media. So don't believe everything you see with your two eyes. Go within. Astral travel. Get in the spiritual realm. See what's going on. Question things. Don't be so quick to be like, oh, is a rock coming? Everybody living in fear. Once your frequency, vibration, the energy is low, any asteroid can hit you. Whether it's a person, place, or thing, which can transform you and bring you right back down. Right back down into structure. Make you descend. Make you depopulate. Make you go back down. Make you descend. Make you actually be reincarnated into back, actually getting right back on track. Almost to the point where you're going to be descending to a lower form, to a lower vessel. See, the thing is, when you ascend in this body, you got to keep going up higher to bigger, bigger and better. 
you don't want to be stuck and stagnated here because being stuck and stagnated here is basically you saying you agree to the terms and condition of reincarnation coming back into this physical form and having more desires and pleasures almost to the point it's going to become a routine and pattern almost to the point where you just basically you're just going to be on a low scale you have to go up in dimensions and consciousness in order for you to actually abstract your know, more wishes and more demands which things can be more pushed out to you more because we in third density you need more a whole lot of energy you need a whole lot of that in order for you to actually manifest why you think they got jobs why you think they got nine to five why you think they got clubs why you think they got music programs tv technologies why they got school why they got this people places and things why they got all kind of distractions all mundane distractions going on which is a daze which is a maze which is keeping to a cycle what's actually going on what's being circulated constantly and obstructed in front in front of you that's basically what's going on. And when you basically put your mind and body so in attention to something like that, it's going to fuck with you. You're going to believe in it. It's almost to the point where you're almost every day living in fear. You don't control yourself. You don't control your spirit. You don't control your soul. You don't control your vessel. You're being programmed to believe what's being pushed out in front of you onto the media. So with that being said, back to my shit. There's no asteroid. I don't. I seen the article. They said asteroids going to kill millions of people. I don't believe in that shit. I don't trust that shit. I don't put my mind, body, and soul and attention to that shit. If anything, I'm just interested of actually traveling into the internal realm and seeing who created that, who created that thought, that feeling, that emotion to be pushed out into this atmosphere, into this dimension. Yeah, and I'm going to attack and destroy that spirit and basically eat that spirit and destroy it. Eat, eat that soul and destroy it. And eat his feelings, emotions, and ideas. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to live in fear and be pushing that and sharing this shit so people can be like lost in fear and lost in reality to almost because the thing is in this world you need energy for shit to manifest so they pushing that kind of negative energy out there you're feeding into that so you feeding all that negative energy you feeding your spirit and your soul and your body and your vessel to that shit so with that being said it's gonna take shape and form like for instance you eat like meat right and the meat was slow to kill that's negative energy that's being pushed out so basically you're gonna enhance that into your body you're gonna eat that and digest that it's gonna break down and what you're gonna have with the possibilities of mucus, disruption, itis, tiredness, laziness, lack of lactivity, and you're gonna get fed because the animal was in fear when he was being butchered, cut up and chopped up. So you're gonna basically eat that and enhance that. Now, you don't know what this asteroid is, you don't know what kind of energies and signatures that was being signatured and signed off for it to be pushed out for you to believe in with your two eyes, which is you blocking this shit right here, which is more important, which you need to see through the illusion, which is an illusion. Everything which you see your two eyes, the illusion, everything that's gonna basically expire. What you see with your internal vessel is what you're gonna actually see as an immortal structure, what's really going on, which is a real world. Because basically, anything that's relating to the physical is something that's basically, that's gonna die off. Energy never dies. It's just basically transformed. So basically, with this being said, this shit is just going to expire. It's going to be pushed out to another location direction, another syndrome. So with that being said, at the end of the day, think with your first eye, not with your two thoughts. Also use your senses, basically, to smell, to hear, feel, touch, taste. That's what's basically being pushed out out here every single day. And what you feel your five senses to that shit, which is basically... What I just explained, you're gonna have that on your spirit. It's gonna, you're gonna eat that shit on your spirit and your soul. Almost to the point, you're gonna be having nightmares and shit about negativity, negative dreams, and it's gonna play in, in many shapes and forms. It's gonna play out to people, places, and things, people that you may know. So that's why it's gonna come to you in that way, so you can be used as a vessel and you can fuck around and eat up that shit. So basically, with that being said, it's no asteroid here, no motherfucking Earth. But people that's actually believing into that shit, it can possibly hit Earth and affect you in some way, shape, or form. Because you put your mind, body, soul, and attention to that, and you fed that energy. So that's what being said. Stop feeding into other people's imaginations and actually use your imaginations to manifest. So you can have your own asteroid to knock down motherfuckers that's after you on the domestic or the on the fucking violent level. For real. Real shit. Most high exclusive dimensional being caught. Stop believing in fucking shit you see on the motherfucking internet.